Hi, my name is Scott Breen and I'm a program manager in the Intune Education Product Group. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can configure autopilot for our Windows 11 SE devices. To start with, I'm going to do an overview of Windows Autopilot, followed by step-by-step -step instructions on how we can configure autopilot for Windows 11 SE. Then I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks, and then we're going to go through the user experience that we've configured together. Just in case you're new to Windows 11 SE, we have an introduction video where we talk about it being designed for education and being cloud first. For all the details, check out our Windows 11 SE playlist on our page or go to aka.ms slash i4e slash Windows 11 SE. Autopilot is a collection of technologies that enable cloud setup of Windows devices. It enables students or teachers to deploy their own devices from anywhere with an internet connection and it utilizes the already installed operating system, reducing the cost of maintaining images. Let's have a look at the end-to-end -end experience of purchasing a new device for our fictitious student, Tim, after configuring Autopilot. We reach out to our partner and purchase a laptop. Our partner imports the unique identifier for the new laptop called a hardware hash into our Autopilot service. Now, we deliver the laptop to Tim. Tim gets out his new laptop turns it on and connects it to Wi-Fi. Tim's laptop connects to the Autopilot service and sends its unique identifier. Autopilot responds with the Autopilot profile and instructions that tells Tim's laptop to connect to Intune. Tim's laptop is now configured and ready for learning. Sounds pretty great, right? Autopilot can be used in two different modes, user-driven mode and self-deploying mode. User-driven mode is ideal for one-to-one -one scenarios where one student or teacher will use the device. In this mode, the user must enter their username and password when unboxing the device to start autopilot provisioning. Self-deploying mode is ideal for shared devices with more than one user or kiosks. In this mode, the device only needs to be connected to a network to start autopilot provisioning. This video is going to focus on user-driven mode. But if you want to know more about Autopilot, check out our workshop video playlist on our page or go to aka.ms slash i4e slash workshop videos. Before we get started, Autopilot does have some prerequisites. If you're already enrolling Windows devices, then you probably already have these covered. First, we need our users to be licensed for Intune and Azure Active Directory. Second, we need Azure Active Directory automatic MDM enrollment to be enabled. Third, we need users to be allowed to join Azure Active Directory. Finally, we need Azure Active Directory company branding to be configured. This enables your logo to appear on the Azure AD and Windows Autopilot sign-in pages. For instructions on how to check these settings or configure them, you can find information in phase one of our cloud native Windows endpoint guide available at aka.ms slash goaadj. Okay, now that we know what it is and what we need before we get started, let me show you how we can configure Autopilot and Intune to make this a reality for our Windows 11 SE laptops. If you want to follow along with this walkthrough, you'll need a computer to configure Autopilot. You'll need an account with Intune Service Administrator permissions. You'll need a hardware hash for your Windows 11 test device or have them imported by a partner. And you'll need some Windows 11 SE test devices to test on. For setup, we're going to follow four easy steps. We're going to create a new Azure Active Directory group we're going to create an autopilot profile and assign it to that group. Then we'll configure the enrollment status page. And finally, we'll import some Windows 11 SE devices. Okay, so starting with step one, I'm going to create a group that contains all of my Windows 11 SE devices with the group tag Windows 11 SE. This is the easiest way to target my Windows 11 SE devices separately to my other Windows 10 or Windows 11 devices. You can get your OEM or partner to set a group tag for your Windows 11 SE devices when they import them. More on this later. Firstly, we need to navigate to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager admin console, which you can get to by going to endpoint.microsoft.com. To create a group, start by clicking on Groups. Select New Group. Enter a group name. In my example, I'm going to call it Windows 11 SE Devices. Select the membership type as Dynamic Device, and then select Add Dynamic Query. Next to Rule Syntax, click Edit. Now, the query that we need is located on our Create Device Groups Autopilot Docs page, 
which you can easily find by searching for Autopilot Device Group. There are several example queries, but the query we want is the one for a specific group tag which maps to the order ID attribute. So if I copy this query, I can switch back to the admin console and paste it into the query box. Once it's pasted in, I can edit it to include the win11se group tag that I've decided to use. You can substitute whatever group tag you prefer here. And once you've edited the group tag, select OK. Select Save to save the query, and select Create to create the group. Azure AD will now evaluate the dynamic group in the background. And while our group is evaluating, let's move on to step two and create our autopilot profile. Starting again in the Microsoft Endpoint Manage Admin Console, select Devices and then select Enroll Devices. Then select Autopilot Deployment Profiles. Select Create Profile and give your profile a name. In my example, I'm going to use Windows 11 SE Devices and then press Next. I'm going to leave the default autopilot settings, which are optimized for user driven autopilot with Azure AD Join. But under Device Naming Template, I'm going to name my devices based on serial number, which I can do by entering the naming template of percent, serial, percent. Select Next to continue and assign the profile to the group that you created in step one, which is going to contain all of your Windows 11 SE devices. Then select Next and Create to create the profile. Now we're going to configure the enrollment status page. You can leave the enrollment status page disabled. In this configuration, Autopilot will enroll the device into Intune, and then the device will go straight to the desktop. Apps and profiles will continue to install in the background, and the student or user can start using the device. But if you want to ensure that all of your apps and config are applied before anyone can use the device, you can enable the enrollment status page. After authenticating, the enrollment status page is shown where information about the device and user setup are displayed. Once all apps and profiles are installed, the user is allowed to access the desktop and start using the device. Let me show you how we can configure the enrollment status page. Starting in the Endpoint Manager Admin Console, select Devices, then select Enroll Devices, and then select Enrollment Status Page. Select Create, and give the profile a name. Again, in my example, I'm going to use Windows 11 SE devices. Select Next. And next to the Show App and Profile Configuration Progress, select Yes. The default settings suit my needs, but I'm going to change a couple of settings towards the bottom. I'm going to enable users the ability to trigger a reset or use the device if an error occurs. With these settings, during enrollment, if an error occurs, the option to continue anyway or reset device will become available. This is especially useful while you're testing, because the command prompt is not available on Windows 11 SE. Once you're finished testing, you can turn these options off again. Now select Next, and assign the profile to our Windows 11 SE Devices group. Select Next and then select Create. The next and final step for setting up Autopilot is to import devices. For Windows 11 SE, there are two options for importing devices. You can request a CSV file from your partner or OEM and import that CSV into Intune. Or you can have the partner or OEM import your devices through Partner Center on your behalf. If you want to take advantage of device firmware configuration interface on Surface devices, this method is required. Let's jump across to the console and see how this looks. Starting again in the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Console, select Devices. Then select Enroll Devices. And then select Devices. If I was importing a CSV file, I would click on Import and select my CSV file. In this case, I'm going to have my device imported by an OEM or partner. So now when I select Refresh, I can see my device and that the status is not assigned. Shortly, the dynamic group that we created in step one will update and the status will switch to assigning. Intune will assign the autopilot profile we created in step two and the status will switch to assigned. If I select the device, I can see all the details about it, including that the device has been successfully assigned our new profile. In normal circumstances, it is not necessary to check and refresh this screen. 
after devices are imported, they will automatically be assigned profiles based on your configuration. Now we've completed setup. We created an Azure AD group. Then we created an autopilot profile and assigned it to that group. Then we configured the enrollment status page and assigned it to the group from step one. And finally, we imported and checked our devices were assigned the autopilot profile. Now, I know you're excited to see the final outcome, but before we see the user experience, I want to highlight some tips and tricks for Windows 11 SE that might save you some time. It's important when you set up autopilot that each device receives only one autopilot deployment profile. Devices with more than one autopilot profile assigned will result in either policy applying. So ensure that groups that you target with autopilot devices contain unique members. For example, if you have an autopilot group that targets all imported autopilot devices, then you can continue to use that profile for Windows 11 SE devices as well. The next tip is regarding application assignments. Remember that we can only run curated apps on Windows 11 SE. In your Intune environment, you may already have apps targeted at groups that could contain Windows 11 SE devices or users that will log on to Windows 11 SE devices. You can modify the assignment of these applications to exclude Windows 11 SE devices. Our final tip is for basic troubleshooting. If anything goes wrong with provisioning your devices, you might need to reset it. On Windows 11 SE, we don't have access to the command prompt at any stage, so if something happens during enrollment, you might need to find an alternate ways to your usual processes to reset the device. If the device successfully rolled into Intune, but had an error installing apps or profiles, you can search for the device in the Intune console and trigger a reset. If the device failed to enroll into Intune or no longer has a network connection, you can trigger a reset from the settings app. To access settings from the out of box experience, select if Shift F10, click on the accessibility icon, and once the settings app opens, search for reset. Select reset this PC, then reset PC, and follow the instructions. Okay, now is the moment you've been waiting for. Let's check out Tim's user experience now that we've configured Autopilot for Windows 11 SE. Tim is gonna unbox his device and power it on. He'll connect to a network and then log in. Autopilot will join Azure Active Directory and enroll into Intune. The enrollment status page will show Tim the status as it installs configuration and apps targeted at the device and then his user account. After that, Tim will be taken to the desktop where his device is ready for class. In this video, we covered an overview of Autopilot and how it uses the power of the cloud to simplify onboarding for our students and teachers. I showed you how to set up Autopilot for Windows 11 SE, including creating a group, creating and assigning an Autopilot profile, configuring the enrollment status page, and then importing devices. Then I covered some tips and tricks for Autopilot profile assignment, dealing with application targeting and resetting devices. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for future videos relating to Windows, Intune, and education scenarios. The video description includes links to Windows 11 SE, Autopilot docs, and our getting started with Cloud Native Windows Endpoints Guide. Thank you.